Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to every one of you, especially to my year two peoples out there. So today, again with me, Mr. Jasmine, and we're going to learn English year two. The title for today is At the Beach, Unit 9. So the objectives for today, we have two objectives, which, which are able to listen and say eight simple phrases correctly and number two able to find the meaning of eight simple phrases correctly so are you ready now we are going to the beach yes let's go to the beach hooray now we are here at the beach okay what are we going to do now so first thing first I have an idea. Why not we catch a fish? Yes, catch a fish. We don't just simply catch. We don't use hand to catch. We use fishing rod to catch a fish. Okay. Then we can paint a picture. Paint a picture. Okay. <clears throat> we can paint the picture, I mean, the see, the beautiful scenic of the beach. Then we can have eat an ice cream. We can eat an ice cream, okay? Such a hot and sunny day. It's so good to have an ice cream with us. What about take a photo? Take a photo for our memories. Then we can listen to music. Okay, listen to music to relax our body after a hot and sunny day, after we swim at the sea. Okay, so we can simply just relax and listen to music. Then, look for shells. Look for shells. Okay, we can look for shells under the rocks. Okay, the small rocks. We can collect it and give as a souvenir to our friends and other family members. What about read a book? Read a book. It's simply amazing activities because we can find a peaceful area and then slowly lie down our body and then just read a book to release our tension and then to release our mind peacefully the finally the final things that you have to do and you must do while at the beach is make a sand castle make a sand castle okay this is the happiest thing the wonderful things while at the beach you can do with your family members you can do with your friends okay to build up something you imagine the castle that you wanted okay so you have listened eight simple phrases while at the beach, okay, you can repeat it by your own to increase or improvise your speaking skill or your reading skill. Now, I have a task for you. So the task is write eight simple phrases with the meaning in Malay language. Okay, for example, the first one. I have done it for you. Catch a fish. Meaning, menangkap ikan. Okay, menangkap ikan. Catch a fish. Menangkap ikan. Not f uh, memancing. Memancing, fishing. Memancing, fishing. But we use menangkap ikan for catch a fish. So number two, paint a picture. Number three, eat ice cream. 
Number four, take a photo. Number five, listen to music. Number six, look for shells. Number seven, read a book. And number eight, make a sand castle. You can do by your own. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy our lesson. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.